Hi everyone, today we'll be focusing on the Apache Tomcat web server and how we can discover the administration's credentials in order to gain access to the remote system. We're performing internal penetration testing and we currently have Apache 6.0 running on my Windows 7 desktop right here as you can see and I've set the Apache Tomcat to port 8180. So if we launch an app, a browser here and we do localhost 8180 you can see that it is up and running. So now I'm in my VMware server that's currently running Backtrack 5 which is a Linux operating system. It's used for security penetration and vulnerability testing. First thing we want to do is go up and open a terminal here and use the following commands and map dash s capital V and the IP address of the Tomcat and Apache web server is located in this case it's 192.168 dot one four six dot one. Just note this does take a few minutes depending on how many applications and ports that you do have open. Also the network mapper it's basically a utility for network exploration and it's also used for security auditing. Now that the network mapper has found that Apache and Tomcat is currently running and it's also located at port 8180 we'll be going to our next exploitation tool known as Metasploit Framework. It's a tool for penetration testing software and also allows us to obtain information on security vulnerabilities and also enables exploit codes. So first thing we want to do here is go to the applications, backtrack, the exploitation tools, network exploitation tools, Metasploit Framework, and the MSF console. Let's just expand this here a little bit. It does take a few seconds to load up. Now as you can see the Metasploit tool has been loaded and we'll be searching for specific modules about the Tomcat by typing the following command search Tomcat and it spits out different types of modules that you are able to use in an exploit so for this we'll be using an auxiliary scanner so we want to type in use auxiliary dash scanner dash http dash tomcat underscore mgr underscore login. Then we want to set our, our host to the location that the Apache Tomcat is located, which in this case it's 192.168.146. That one. Then we want to set the port as well as 8180, and then we're just going to exploit it. As you can see here, it did find the login Tomcat and the password Tomcat, which was successfully logged in. So, in conclusion, the Metasploit tool already contains a password list in the Tomcat MGR login. It's already configured to scan passwords from a specific list, but it's also able to use custom word lists. The Metasploit is using a method known as brute force attack, which tries to use all the usernames and passwords on a list, and if it shows it was able to log in successfully or not. To better protect your web server, you should have at least eight characters mixed in with uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Doing this will increase your chances of not being hacked and the hacker will not be able to find the login information. You can also disable the admin console and specify a local management IP address and make sure that you have the latest Tomcat installed. Avoid older versions that can be exploited. This concludes our Apache Tomcat web server penetration test. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.